All right, so what we have here are selected images from an abdominal CT scan. And I can see there are two different phases captured. We've got one image in the arterial phase and another image probably from the nephrographic or portavenous phase. Looking closely, I immediately notice there's a mass within the body of the pancreas. This mass is quite striking because it enhances avidly on the arterial phase image. It's more vascular compared to the adjacent pancreatic tissue, which indicates that it's a hypervascular lesion. In the later phase, I can see that the mass still remains hyperenhanced, although the contrast is a bit less pronounced compared to the arterial phase. One thing that jumps out to me is the absence of the right kidney in these images. It should normally be visible, but it's not here. And I'd suspect that the patient has undergone a nephrectomy. It's always a good idea to review the whole scan to confirm, but based on this limited information, I'd correlate with the clinical history to confirm whether a nephrectomy was indeed performed. If so, that would make me think of renal cell carcinoma, RCC metastasis, because this kind of hypervascular pancreatic lesion is highly suggestive of RCC metastasis. Other potential differentials for hypervascular pancreatic masses include neuroendocrine tumors like islet cell tumors or even metastatic disease from other hypervascular tumors such as thyroid carcinoma or melanoma. But considering the absent right kidney, RCC metastasis is the leading diagnosis here. Now an examiner might ask, what would differentiate this from a primary pancreatic tumor? Well, primary pancreatic adenocarcinomas are generally hypovascular, whereas this lesion is hypervascular, making that diagnosis unlikely. If the examiner then pushes further, asking about other sites of metastasis from RCC, I'd mention that RCC commonly metastasizes to the lungs, bones, and liver. Pancreatic metastasis, though less common, is definitely a recognized site, especially when we're dealing with hypervascular lesions. Finally, in terms of management, I'd say a biopsy of the lesion could be considered to confirm the diagnosis, especially if there's any uncertainty about the origin of the mass. Further imaging, like a PET scan, could also help evaluate for additional metastatic sites. To conclude, this case, given the imaging findings and clinical correlation, strongly points toward metastatic renal cell carcinoma to the pancreas. If you found this breakdown helpful, remember to subscribe to Radiology Made Easy. Drop a comment if you've come across similar cases or have any questions. Let's keep learning together.